There are plenty of pumpkin soup recipes out there, but I guarantee you that they're not gonna be as simple as this one, because it is a no-chop pumpkin soup. So all we need to do firstly is magically grab out our tray, which has been lined with some baking paper. So I've got two halves of butter and pumpkin, and I'm just gonna go with a tiny bit of olive oil, and just a few thyme sprigs, and then delicately place them over. Then I've got two gigantic carrots here, so find them as big as you can. If you want to keep this recipe vegetarian, you don't need the bacon, but the bacon is really what ends up making it. I've got some fennel seeds here as well, and some chili flakes. And then just a bit more olive oil. And I'm wrapping up the carrots in foil, just so they're protected. And then we're gonna go into the oven. I have it quite hot at 220. Um, that's gonna go for the first half an hour, and then we're gonna add some more veggies to it. So that's been in for half an hour. Now we're gonna go with a whole onion. You need to do absolutely nothing to that, but add it to the tray. And then I've got three garlic cloves. So just put that in the center and then wrap it up. And then just add that to the tray. And then we're gonna get this into the oven for another 30 minutes at 220. So while that's in the oven, I'm just gonna get on to making some giant croutons. Parmesan firstly, some soft butter. It has to be soft, otherwise you're gonna really struggle to mix it in. Got some whole fennel seeds. Some more of those chili flakes, so we're using the same ingredients. And then I'm also gonna have some of these coriander seeds. We're just gonna go in with some of those sprigs of thyme with the magic of your fingers. And then just a bit of salt and a lot of pepper. And then just give that a nice mix up. So I know I said we're not doing any chopping. It's the only time you're having to use a knife in the whole recipe. We're just gonna line them on this tray and just use the back of the spoon to spread them on all the pieces. Okay, now that they're all been bathed in butter, I'm gonna get a bit more cheese on top of them as well. And so what I'm gonna do now, as soon as the pumpkin's out of the oven, I'm gonna be able to do a switch with the two. All the thyme has perfumed and kind of gone into the pumpkin, but just take those leaves and pull them off the stalks and then we'll use those in the soup because they got great flavor. Then I'm just gonna scoop out the seeds. So now I'm just gonna use a spoon and scoop out all this flesh and you'll see it's so soft. And the benefit of doing the pumpkin soup this way is that you're not having to chop anything, worry about taking the skin off. So get the bacon in there and the carrots, which are also super soft. These garlic cloves have become really, really soft, and all you need to do is kind of pierce the end, and then you can squeeze out the garlic straight into the soup. And lastly, we've got the onion. So all I wanna do is take that outer layer of skin off, and the skin's really protected all that onion flesh now, and it's actually become really sweet, and then pop that in as well whole. Then any of these juices that have collected in the pan, I'm gonna use as well. So you can see there's heaps of flavor that we've been building on without doing very much at all. I've got a stick blender and we're just gonna go crazy and blitz this all up. So the soup may spit at you as well, so wear an apron. We'll get someone to clean up your kitchen for you afterwards. But now I'm gonna add some of my stock and then also some water. And this now blitz it until it's entirely smooth. Final ingredient, I'm gonna go with a little bit of creme fraiche and this just really kind of mellows out the soup and then obviously a little bit more salt and pepper. And now as we finish that, our croutons should be ready to get out of the oven. So if we go into this bowl, I've kept it quite thick. If you want it to be a bit thinner, just thin it out with a little bit more water or stock. And we're gonna finish it off with more creme fraiche. And then if you wanna get all fancy, just use the back of a spoon and you can get some streaks through it. Some micro herbs, or you can use some of the thyme. And then, of course, a couple of these croutons to have with the soup as well. I think the soup is awesome, no chopping, the oven does all the hard work and you're left with a beautifully sweet, rich pumpkin soup.